In this video, I'll be covering DNA from Wigstick's problem set 6. Okay, so what are we supposed to do in this problem set? We are given a sequence of DNA. Okay, so we have uh, DNA 1, DNA 2, DNA 3, and so on. And then what we have to do is basically um, depending on the str information of the dna samples uh, the dna sequences we have to compare them to the str sequences um, of uh, the people that we are given in our database the small and large database so we have so we are given a few strs and based on the information if the following information matches with some of the sequences then we know that it's a match so yeah let's get started so the first step is to check for command line usage okay so for command line usage you guys can just look through the lecture notes so um command yeah basically the command line arguments so let's check for three command line arguments because we have to enter the file name and then the data uh, the database and then uh, the sequence of dna okay so um if the length of sys.argview is not equals to three we tell the user that um please enter three arguments okay and then we just sys dot exit with one um, just to signify to the user that we uh, that the user has done something wrong uh, next step is to read the database file into a variable okay so they have given us uh, some hints on how we can do this okay so yeah we may find the csv module helpful okay um, yeah, so let's make use of that. So we'll be storing the data into uh, a few lists, lists, and each of this, sorry, a few rows. Okay, and each of these rows is um, having a dictionary. Okay, so a dictionary is used for each person of the database. So I'll I'll show you guys what I mean. So let I'll I'll just be like basically copying the code they have here so rows is equals to uh, a list okay and then with open we'll be opening the um, argv1 so sys.argv1 okay as file okay so then reader is equals to csv dot dict reader file okay so what is this dict reader doing they have explained it to us actually they have not but if you guys read the documentation it's basically just um, helping us create a few dictionaries for um, our database so let's just use the small csv for example okay so uh, and then next we would like to create a dictionary okay so let's do that for a row in reader rows dot append row okay so what this has helped us create is basically uh, the rows dictionary okay so let's just see what this shows us let me uh, try running something so print this and you guys can see that um, our database is basically stored in this uh, rows list okay so name Alice so we have a dictionary for Alice and then we have the dictionary for Bob and then we have the dictionary for Charlie and so on okay so that's awesome now moving on to reading a uh, database sequence file into a variable so this is basically us uh, storing this entire sequence of DNA into a variable so how we can do that uh, they have given us a hint for that as well so we can use the open and read functions to uh, solve this issue so let's check out the open uh, 
documentation and as you guys can see we can basically um, enter this code to store our red data into a variable so let's do that with open and this time it's gonna be sys argv2 sys.argv2 okay comma and coding equals to utf utf8 sf red data is equals to f dot read and that's about it so let me just print out red data just to confirm it's working correctly and also just to show you guys what i'm uh, trying to figure out so let's run this okay so yeah it's basically storing sequence of uh, one dot text all right so um, the to do tree is done okay to do tree is done next to find the longest match of each str in a data sequence dna sequence sorry so this is our dna sequence and we have to sort of figure out um, the uh, length of the longest run of sequences in sequence okay so i have to find out the longest run of uh, this str this str and this str so for that what's going to be helpful is creating a list of all the str that we have to find um, the value of from the dna so depending on which csv we're using it's obviously different strs right so let's create this list so for creating this list they have already shown us something that uh, we can do okay so we could basically just use um, the reader dot uh, field names okay so what reader dot field names is basically depicting to us is basically let me just show you so print reader dot field names okay so let's run this and as you guys can see it's basically a list of all the strs that we have uh, to make use of in our code but then we have this name here so we have to obviously remove this name or else it will uh, cause us problems and also it's just not looking very nice so um let's create this str list okay so str list okay so str list is basically reader dot field names okay but we have to remove um the name okay so what we can do is basically google how we can remove a specific um variable from a list okay so how to remove a var variable from a list in python okay so we can uh, use let's see what we can do so we can list dot remove element so let's do that okay so str underscore list dot remove and then we want to remove name right okay so let's see if that worked str list okay so that did not work let's do that that might have worked okay so yeah uh, it's worked already now we have a list of uh, the STRs that we have to find uh, for the longest match okay so this list is going to be very helpful when we are trying to figure out the longest match of each STR in the DNA sequence okay so we are done with that um, okay so let's do that okay so to store the longest match of each of the STRs we could use a dictionary right so the dictionary is going to have a key of the str and then we'll have the value which is going to be the longest run of uh, subsequence okay so let's do that so um, for that as well we can just google uh, how to add key value 
pairs to a Python dictionary. Okay, so we can basically do this to add to a dictionary. So um, yeah, let's do that. STRs. Okay, so DNA info. So I'll just be creating a dictionary which is gonna be which is gonna be called uh, DNA info. So DNA info. It's gonna just gonna be storing information about the length of the longest run of sequences subsequences okay so dna info is equals to that and then depending on what we get back from this longest match we'll be storing it we'll be adding it into uh, this dictionary okay so dixt okay sorry so for str and str list okay so we want to loop through all of the strs in our str list all right um and then it's gonna be dna info str is equals to the longest match the sequence is gonna be basically the red data and then the subsequent is the str okay so what you'll notice is that i have created a whole dictionary for all of the information of the strs in uh, the dna sequence so let me just print it out just to verify it's going correctly so dna info all right so let's see how this is going Okay, so we have gotten some information. AGATC uh, is four times in the uh, longest run of subsequent. AATG and TATC. Okay, so nice, we have found the longest match of each STR in the data sequence. Now the last and final to do, check database for matching profiles. So now, depending on the information here, if the information here is exactly the same as the information that is here, so as you guys can notice, for Bob, it's 4, 1, and 5, exactly the same as what we have for DNA1, 4, 1, and 5. So by right, Bob should return as the correct answer. So how do we do that? How we do that is, first and foremost, to uh, basically run through our database for the people okay so for people in rows okay um, what we want to do is to check each and every one of the strs so for that as well we have to run through our str list so str list sorry for str in str list okay now what we want to do is basically compare okay so if um, people str if people str is okay you know what for this we have to use some sort of logic okay so what we want to do is to see if there's a match correct so let's set a match variable to true initially all right and then depending on if there is a difference we'll be setting it to a false and so on so if people um, str is not equals to the um, info the dna info str then we know that oh there isn't a match and what we can do is basically just uh, match is equals false so there unfortunately has not been a match and then we want to break out of this loop okay and then we want to uh, set match to true again and check this for the next person okay and then if after a whole round of checking for all of the strs and the person we find that oh actually we did not break and the match is still true then we know that we have found the person so let's do that if match is equals to true then we know that we have found the person and what we want to do is people name okay and 
another thing that we should keep note of is that this DNA info that we have found, as you guys can see, the key is a string, however the value is an integer. However, you guys would notice that uh, for the rows, right? So let me just print out the rows just for clarity's sake. So rows, let me just print out rows again and let me just comment that out. Okay, so you guys would notice that for rows, um, the value is actually a string. Okay, so what we're going to do here is to convert this into integers so that, you know, in fact, we are doing our calculations correctly. And now this should be working completely fine. Let's try it out. Okay, so by right, this should return Bob. Okay, this did not return Bob. Okay, I'm not printing it out to so print people name. Okay, let's try it again Bob okay so it seems to be working fine let's try it with another few examples how about this it should return Ron and it's Ron okay so it seems to be working fine let me just do a quick check 50 just to make sure everything's working fine okay so some things went wrong okay oh my uh, yeah sorry I did not I do not have something printing no match so yeah something that I can do here is basically like print no match if uh, there isn't a match no match okay so now let's run this again okay no yeah after that I have to still sys dot exit zero if um, you know it finished correctly but if it doesn't then i want to print no match so let's run check 50 again all right so we have completed dna from week six i hope you guys enjoyed this video hit the like button if you guys did and comment down below if you guys have any questions and see you guys on the next video Bye bye